What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Air Patch coming at you with a Formula One 2013 gameplay video, and today we're gonna talk about rage. And I stumbled, I stumbled across this idea yesterday when I was tuning in to the GMG podcast episode 33 on X Chase Money's channel. I will leave the um podcast video link in the description down below. Also, Chase. Chase's um, channel link in the description down below if you want to subscribe to Chase or listen into the podcast. So, um, a subscriber or a viewer actually um, commented or probably tweeted them and asked a question stating, "How hard have you raged?" So I reflected, I reflected upon this idea, and I have come to the conclusion that my hardest rage was. Playing NBA 2K14, my career on Hall of Fame difficulty. This happened probably six to eight months ago. We were facing the heat. The heat. I am on the Pelicans. My player was like a um, Taylor Harris, if you will, type of point guard, scoring point guard and athletic point guard, all combined into one. I felt like the second coming of Allen Iverson out there. But um, yeah. Back into the rage story. Um, we were down 20 heading into halftime. Not half time, heading into the uh, fourth quarter against the Heat. Um, your boy cut the lead down into a five point lead, and then they called the timeout right. It was roughly eight minutes left in the quarter. And after the timeout, the Hall of Fame cheese switch flipped on, and they were just pouring in three balls. LeBron didn't miss, D Wade didn't miss, Ray Allen didn't miss, Chris Bosch didn't miss. Everybody didn't miss, and they ended up blowing blowing us us out by 35 to 40 points, somewhere around that region. I can't really tell because I was so mad. Um, around the 10 second mark, they were showing sportsmanship or whatever. They were just dribbling the ball. I literally stood up and pulled the damn plug of my TV and my PlayStation and threw my controller halfway across the room hitting my cabinet, denting my cabinet and breaking my controller. Well, my controller didn't literally break um, the L2 the L2 button. You can't even press that motherfucker, man. The spring, it was squeezed and it didn't retract to its normal shape. Um, and the, uh, the um, Right analog stick, it, it was really loose. You can you can pull it out if you wanted to. So I ended up buying a new controller, and I also ended up getting repairs for my cabinet. So um, I probably spent like 150 to 200 dollars. That's like um, 3,000 to 5,000 pesos in total for the repairs, uh, for the repair of my cabinet and a new controller um i can't really remember how much i paid for the controller but i remember that we spent two thousand pesos on the um on my cabinet for the materials and whatnot and for the labor the labor itself so um i am very much interested to know how hard you guys have raged leave your um rage stories down below and don't forget to leave the um game that made you rage and what mode and how it happened and what was the aftermath um unfortunately i couldn't take a picture of the cabinet nor the um controller because i was so mad at that time <laughs> i didn't have time to take pictures man um reflecting on it now um i'm laughing now and it, it's funny now but back then i was so pissed that i can whoop somebody's ass literally man <laughs> i I'm about to whoop some ass, bro. I'm about to kick your ass, man. <laughs> well, no, I I'm not gonna kick your ass. But if you do something to me, I'm gonna kick your ass, though, bro. But, um, yeah. Don't forget, again, don't forget to leave your rage story down below. Um, be specific about it. And we'll have a nice talk about it. And we should have some laughs. Hopefully, you don't, you don't still have a grudge about that game. And don't forget to follow your boy on Twitter and on Instagram at air. Patrick to stay up to date with your main man and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more of these videos
and we out of here, young man. Peace.